This video finds you well. Today, I want to uh, provide a very, very quality video concerning the most important thing that just happened in perhaps centuries. And that is we passed the climax. Um, <clears throat> This video here is for uh, those of you who follow MM and who know about uh, where my intel comes from, a little bit about my background and what I'm doing and all that. If you're new to uh, this channel, if you're new to MM, then uh, a lot of it will sound like bullshit to you. That's okay. Um, we understand things uh, based upon our experiences and if there's terms or whatever that I use that you're confused with well uh, that's kind of par for the course so basically what we're going to be talking about is um, depending upon your frame of reference the uh, the changing geopolitical order of the world and it has reached a climax now that doesn't mean that the world is now all rainbows and unicorns and tulips and sunny skies all the time. No, it does not mean that. It means that the high risk elements have been thwarted by an event that has happened over the last week. That high risk event is known as the climax or the point of pivot the fulcrum during this turning. When I refer to turnings, I refer to Strauss and Ho's uh, fourth turning theory of generational um, cycles. And uh, primarily it's an American-centered document, but it can be applied to other nations. And in this case, I'm applying it because the United States is the largest and most formidable massive country in this world. And make no mistake, it is a powerhouse. Sure, it is in various states of decay, and sure, it has a lot of trouble, and sure, there's all kinds of dysfunctions within it, but nevertheless, the United States is the preeminent massive powerhouse, the massive nation 
that from which all other behaviors globally flow. So to summarize, uh, for those of you who are new, I live in China. I lived 40 some years in the States, 20 some years in China, and uh, I have an electric, an electric, not an electric, <laughs> an electric background, primarily because of a long time ago. I joined an organization and worked for the United States government as a technology wonk known as Majestic. It's sort of like a division of the ONI. And so I, I, um, re I'm retired. I have a very sedate life here in China and doing a couple of projects here and there. But for the most part, I have a very, very comfortable life. And, uh, but at the same time, when I'm trying to have my peace and quiet and sip my tea or my VSOP and watch the sunrise, we've got all this geopolitical stuff going on. And uh, it really is a buzzkill, I got to tell you. It's just a buzzkill. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that are freaking out. I mean, you go on YouTube and you will find out all kinds of videos, people talking about prepping for the coming nuclear Armageddon. And, you know, you see the political channels and you're hearing this posturing and that posturing and this and that. It's like, oh, you lordy. It's not that... It's not what you think it is. Now, if you're watching all this, that's what you think it is. But it's not what's going on. Because people, rule number one is unless you're actually feeling it and tasting it and smelling it and seeing it with your own two eyes, you can't believe it. Everything on the internet is fake. Everything on television is fake. Everything on the radio is fake. Unless you're seeing it and experiencing it face to face, it's fake, including this video. Okay. So you got to be a little bit judicious, I would say, huh? Second thing is that um, knowing that everything is fake and everything, your peace of mind depends on your realization that what's really happening will never be re fully reported to you. You'll get bits and pieces of this puzzle piece way over there and that puzzle piece and some other jackass over here is going to try to tell you how it all fits together mm -mm 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 -mm. so point number two is real events are not reported upon i've discovered this i discussed this about how china turned off all the spacex satellites and they all came tumbling to the ground and like freak electromagnetic discharge imagine that or you know how uh, a hospital ship and a bunch of battle cruisers had to come and recover a f-35 that kind of slid off the deck of an aircraft carrier <laughs> that's why a hospital ship is you do that right in the south china sea that's why you need a hospital ship in the south china sea to pick up this broken piece of composite aircraft that's why you need a hospital ship and, of course, let's not forget about submarines hitting a mountain. Well, we all know that it wasn't really a mountain that it hit. It was really a sonic bomb that it dealt with. And other things on and on and on and on. The list is far too long. So, um, basically, uh, knowing this, real news is not being reported to you. You don't know anything. And as Tucker Carlson did, he made a, a video uh, last week in which he says, you know what, don't trust anything unless you see it with your own two eyes because nothing you can believe here. You've got AI-generated images. You know, the congressmen and uh, senators, they talk in front of a green screen. Same thing with the Zelensky cat in the Ukraine. They talk in front of a green screen. Everything is fake. It's all scripted Hollywood. And you are being fed garbage. And people who are really caught up in, in politics, what they're doing is they try to piece together the garbage into these narratives. And they do it. But in reality, garbage is still garbage. Okay? Whether it's pieced together to look like Frankenstein here or it's pieced together to look like the mummy over there, it's just garbage. 
So you have to take that into account, don't you know? So anyways, let's go back to uh, talking about uh, this big climactic event. And it is the climax. Now, back in 2021, I generated a, uh, a picture summarizing what I believed was going to happen in the next 10 years. Okay? And um, this, video, this, this image, which you should see right here, is my was my predictions i made these back in 2021 some of the things are a little bit late some of the things were a little bit early but they're pretty much pretty close to what's going on and of course i said there would be a climax in 2023 but that events would still continue to go on and you can see that in this image right 2023 is a climax though at the time i didn't know what that climax would be and then all those red years are years where there's going to be continued talking heads on YouTube and political people posturings and all kinds of changes and this and that and this and that. But if you look and you pay attention, you'll see that the domestic issues with the United States are going to peak, going to peak out. You're going to see internationally financially, socially, and other issues are going to start peaking out in various ways, right? And uh, that is uh, what I predicted back in 2021. Now, of course, if you, everybody else is predicting that there is going to be a war in 2027, that base, that's based on um, supply considerations by some logistic folks and uh, war planning in the Pentagon and RAND and also the fact that uh, in 2027 is, uh, is a accumulative target to date following the Strauss and Ho model. Now I'm going to tell you something about Strauss and Ho's model. Strauss and Ho's model does not specifically say that 2027 is going to be when it happens. It says it's going to be around this period of time, plus or minus five years. Civil War was a little bit later. World War II was a little bit earlier. Okay? So... This model, this climax, fits very, very well with the Strauss and Ho um, predictions. And uh, it seems to be on track in every single way. So what you're seeing here in this diagram that I made explains exactly what's going on and what you can expect. Fair enough? Fair dinkum? Okay, so um, let's talk about the climax. Okay, shall we? Well, the first point you have to understand is that I can't talk about the climax, except to say that it happened. I can't tell you what it is, specifically. But rather, it is a combination of a couple of unreported events that have long-term influences and have direct influences on the forces that are driving this change, whether they realize they're driving it or not. We can argue one of the forces is the sudden, dangerous alert situation with the value of the United States dollar its use is decreasing a lot faster than anticipated. And the revenue being generated by the United States tax base to pay the interest on this debt is shortfalled of a greater amount than what was anticipated. This has created a bit of an emergency here. 
The only prudent way to handle this emergency is, of course, to cut back. Cutting back is going to really stop a lot of the um, efforts for a hot war. And you can say, well, that's just trivial stuff. You can say whatever you want to. I'm just telling you that a climax period has occurred, and it's not just financial. You've got economic and social concerns. There's major upheavals going on, for instance, in Florida. Florida is kind of putting its, its foot down and kind of breaking away from the progressive woke mentality. Good or bad, right or wrong, I'm just making a statement. Uh, you can also say that while the, the White House and politics is continuing along the road of self-destruction, that doesn't mean that the rest of the people on the bus are gleefully riding in the seats, cheering on their deaths. There's other things going on, many, many other things going on. In order to make these fiscal um, problems disappear, and it doesn't look like it can happen, they're only going to get worse, but there's efforts being made to stop the magnitude of damage that they will re re result in would be to, say, get rid of Social Security or get rid of welfare or get rid of food stamps, or change the ability to get rid of food, get, get food stamps. So what the Congress has done as well for Social Security, they've changed the uh, Social Security retirement age. Used to be uh, you could uh, get it as early as 63 with some penalties. Now it's been bumped up to, bumped up to 67. For those of you who are not at your retirement years, this is pretty big issue and attacking on half a decade of work to, to you, you know. You've got uh, many people on the dole throughout the United States for because of the inflation that's out of control. People need government handouts to live. You change that dynamic and you're going to have a lot of pissed off people with guns. You have organized crime that is emboldened and getting more and more powerful with each day. It's almost as if the organized crime has been working hand in hand with elected officials in the cities. The level of corruption within the United States has passed an unsustainable point. You can disagree with me all you want, but uh, it's pretty obvious. So you have a collapse in the United States. It is in free fall. It's no longer a late stage collapse. It's in free fall. I once, somebody said, I think it was Elon Musk who said, you know, things happen gradually and then suddenly. It's like when you're studying for a college degree, it's slow and gradual, and then all of a sudden you get your degree and boom, 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 things start happening. Things happen slowly and then boom, you're there. And that's the crisis point. That's the critical fulcrum that uh, just occurred this May couple days ago, a week or so ago. I want to say a couple of things. Uh, those of you who, who are unaware of where Intel comes from, uh, this is, uh, I was alerted to this through the Domain Commander. Okay? Domain Commander was, um, is, is, is my um, upline on the EBP. The um, 
details. I did not press for details. I don't need to know details. And I'm sure the D domain commander is suppressing my desire for details. I don't think any of us need to know the details. Um, I also have been getting, um, I won't call them confirmations so much as nuanced thoughts from a handful of other people in similar backgrounds to myself. All told, from my point of view as an egregor, is to put these things together and tell you in a comforting voice, the worst is over. Do not let fears entrap you. Just because there's a kaleidoscope of change geopolitically and a domestic unrest within the United States does not mean that things are going to collapse. What I say it's late stage collapse, but it doesn't mean that your area is going to collapse, your industry is going to collapse, you are going to have trouble. It's not that way at all. When you're lifting weights, when you're trying to exercise, the first thing you start realizing when you start using these unused muscles is they get sore and you get out of breath easy and you have to do it over and over again. And eventually the sore muscles will turn to something different. And that's the same thing. There are certain areas in the United States that that need some, some serious um, TLC and some love and care, okay? There, I'm sure there are, oh, it's obvious, and there needs to be some changes. All I'm saying is the beginning of the changes is in process right now, and that's a good thing. So you should feel very, very uh, happy about that stuff. Chances are that it's not going to go zombie apocalypse. Chances are it's not going to be nuclear Armageddon. Chances are it's not going to be a long, drawn-out depression that you won't know what to do. In reality, you will see pockets of affluence and pockets of of problems throughout the West, but it will not be cohesive, it will not be homogenized. There'll be pockets. As a entrepreneurial type or a person who has their wits about them, you will migrate to these places that offer you stability and happiness and safety. And to this, I want to add, thoughts control your reality. Be positive, no matter what news is negative news is directed at you. Be the best you can be, knowing that even though the day was shit, as long as you gave it your best, that's fine. You've got a new day tomorrow. Don't wor and three, don't worry about what other people have to say. There's gonna, always going to be somebody, for some reason, saying something bad for some obscure reason. It's not your problem. It's their problem. So many things. But remember, be part of a community. That's four. Communities can help you. It's your network of friends, your network of community that's going to help you through these various periods that may or may not be discomforting for you. So let me kind of wrap this up with the bottom line. Uh, there was a pivot point, a climax of this fourth turning, and it happened early. It happened in 2023. Um, what it is specifically, I cannot say because it's a combination of a multiple number of vectors, but the point of no return towards danger, towards dangerous conclusions has passed. 
there is still going to be changes, there's still going to be discomfort, there's still going to be politics, there's still going to be military buildup and all the rest. That is still going to continue. But the period of danger where somebody's going to press a button and everything goes south has passed. And I just wanted to tell you that in this video. And with that being said, know that I believe in you. Always be the best you can possibly be. Be kind to dogs and cats. Make your life memorable. Eat an ice cream cone. Go to the local diner and order a blue plate special. Try something new for a change. Kind of mess, mix up your routine a little bit. Say kind words to other people, even if it's bullshit. And when people are yelling at you and saying bad things, just kind of get away from them. If you're on social network, you delete them. You don't need to hear the bad shit. And with that, people, know that I believe in you. Take care. Remember, you control your life, and you will do fine. I believe in you. Take care, everybody. Just.